all about race. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go do it. No mention of enslavement. Like, these people literally don't want to get to too much of a history lesson, but America was created and born out of... <clears throat> the number one economy was enslavement of black people. Like, by far. Like, like hundreds, 100x past any other industry or whatever, right? And um, there's not one... And the big thing about this picture is um, is black people playing white characters. Which I like in the in the interview he said um the what did he say? He said like the book is telling history. Like when, I think the book was it's based on a book called Alexander Hamilton, whatever, right? It was written a long time ago. Mm-hmm. He said this that was the version of them telling the story then. This is America telling our story now. Right. What they say, you know what I'm saying? The people like the new people here, like I was like, that's dope. Which I love. I love and I think Which I, we, we, love. I love that idea and he didn't go, he could go somewhere else with it. I think what he could do or should do or whatever the case is, I love the fact that let's tell their story like they tell our story. Let's take over the narrative. Mm. I love that. Like, that to me, I'm like, whoa, he could do everybody. Like, but the, I, think he, I think he dropped the ball when he didn't mention the clear, obvious shit. Like, he's not going to mention... They were horrible people too. It was like it was an up and up. It was like it almost made the film seem like an acceptable version of blackface. That's like, how you feel to a degree. So look, like it's like a lot of angles to this film. Like it was great in some ways. It was horrible in some ways. Look, I came across a lot of people who seen the film, being in the city all day, right? Actually, been like, hey, where you going, Hamilton? Never seen it, like. At least 20, 30 people, like, from, like, people who pay money, top dollars to go see this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And small talk with them before they go in. <clears throat> Another great thing of being in New York City, you, get, you know, you get to talk with everybody and stuff. And they love, it's like, this great thing since sliced bread. Like, minstrel shows, blackface came from, a little small history lesson, black entertainment, black culture was the shit. And instead of paying them or giving them the respect, it was a way to imitate that imitate that that what they wanted. Mm. But you know, but have them the same way they do like a Justin Timberlake or whatever. Oh, do the black thing and you know, let's pay him. Let's make him a super. We, we want to help us. We want it coming from you. And uh, so, but before that, they would literally get a white person put black face like because they they that's where that stuff comes from. They wanted a black person to, to dance. They wanted. In yeah. kind of or you were there in the team. Entertain their gestures. Yes. They're everything. Mm-hmm. Right? <clears throat> so um that's like an evolution of, of, of that. So to a degree it's like when we're doing it on our own, like we're t- like we're giving them their story the way they want to hear it. Like a hundred percent the way they want to hear it. Mm-hmm. Let's not mention that. Let's mention this. Let's prop up this. Let's make this person seem like he's the greatest. Like yeah. it's th- it's it's literally like when, when you watch the movie. Cause it's based off of that book, which is written by a white guy, or whatever. Mm. I don't, I never, I haven't read the book, so I don't know if the book mentions certain things. But the Lin Manuel version, he don't even t- like. There's no like Alexander, not Hamilton. Um, uh, Andrew Jackson had like two hundred or two thousand enslavement people. Washington had hundreds, like two, three hundred. Like these people had like. Even General Grant, it is, and he had enslaved people after slavery was supposed to be abolished. He got right there on 125th Street, got a big ass park, General Grant. And um, I researched it because I was like, hold on, let me check these people. That's like a thing I do when I'm in the city. I see like a monument, I, mm-hmm. I run that name. And this is a trick for everybody who wants to do this. Research these people, right? They're not going to say slave enslavement or, or slave masters or whatever. They didn't say farmers. And you research, what did they farm? Cotton. <laughs> Sugar cane. Like, you know, like, oh, who was on that? Cotton farm. Oh, like, and that's how you, that's how you find Whoops. it. Whoops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he got, he started poor and he, he got, he, he became rich, a rich farmer. That's how they're going to label it in the books. Mm. They ain't going to mention about who was farming the actual land and all that. 
And that's the, we got to get out of their history, out of their version. So it was a beautiful piece with the, what he created and stuff. But to leave that, it's like, it's not a small thing to leave out. Like, it was, it's like literally that's what the whole, there's so many angles. I'm not, pre, I'm not, I'm not the perfect person to kind of um, <laughs> say, like to know all the angles on how crazy that was. Because it's crazy. It is like, just not even mention that, that was a, a corny thing to me. Um, let me see. Um, oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question, Jamal. Okay. If you had to guess, how many U.S. presidents own slaves? Huh. Oh, own, and I don't like to say the word slaves because we're not identified as slaves. We're enslaved. People who are enslaved. Now, let me give some clues. Yeah. <sighs> Slavery was abolished, you know, 1860, yeah, blah, blah. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president. So we had 14 of them, probably. This is, this is a thing I do with my daughter. I do, yeah, I do that. Not your fucking kid. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I gotta teach you the way I teach my kids. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick question. Every single president had owned enslaved people. Even Abraham Lincoln. Nah, bro. Facts. Go check it in the comments. Go. That's it. Matter of this is a question for everybody in the comments. Abraham Lincoln and his wife had owned slaves. His wife inherited slaves from enslaving people from her father. They were married. Abraham Lincoln had slaves. They both had slaves together. So wait, he owned them through his wife, or he owned some of his them own slaves? Well, they became like a, a woman didn't have rights in eighteen <laughs> in eighteen. <laughs> like no, when he got um, you said she inherited them. Yeah, so. pops. Her her pop died. Right. He. Was a slave person, you know. Right. He had a, whatever. She it came, she was the owner. She came whatever. They were married. Then they become him. So before he was even president, you know what I'm saying? Um, now I, I didn't get the research on. No, nah, uh, I was Abe. Exactly. Yeah. No. Nah. He never said he was saying honest. He never said he wasn't cruel. <laughs> like I gonna be honest and not. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Right. I guess you're right. And like, what was the other guy? Don't tell a lie. Who was that? I Joe? thought that was A too. Oh yeah, yeah, that same thing. I thought that was him. Oh yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. Damn. So yeah. Look it wow. up. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna look it up right now. Just, a little oh. moment in history with that old knuckles lady. It was so, again, yeah. right? Uh, and um it was another one too. They tried to um it was very so like you gotta look because like they meant they didn't mean it like it was his property. You had you ain't heard of house. You mean that initially bought him from from the local market and say I picked that nigger or whatever, whatever. But if your if your pops did it and he passed it down to you, the same thing with um the dude General Grant. Um he was like a mayor too. And he actually had beef, but he was part of the abolitionist crew. And then I think his dad was buying stuff. Like so he had a conflict. It was like, yo, what is, like it's all, like that was the money. Like back in the day. It was like real estate. Yo, you got a house, you better get like you better this how you give it. Like it was the, the thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, so that that I know. It was like the hot commodity would be a slave one. Yeah. Damn, man. Let me see. All right. Okay, yeah. So that's what I didn't really 